In this video, we'll look at Galbra's biggest trail features. From rocks, drops, and shoots, we're taking a look at the most challenging and sometimes dangerous features on this little mountain. In my opinion, these are the biggest features that average riders will hit. I, of course, am excluding blue steel and the pro line on cedar dust. Okay, starting things off, we have Radical Dragon and its rock roll. It's bigger and scarier looking than SST's rock roll, but in my opinion, it's actually easier technically. Radical Dragon roll here coming up. Can't see much, and then all of a sudden you come to the top, and it's like, wow, that's a beautiful view as you start to plummet over the edge here, which uh, it's really not too bad, not that steep. Uh, but there's kind of that part where it drops, so you're gonna pop your front as you come off and then yeah, you have to cut around make that left turn it's not too bad just below the roll is a great jump it goes across a little stream shout out to Javi for this side angle Woo! So what did you say helped? So I felt like once I got to the top of Radical Dragon, I I scoped out the bottom for a quick second, and yeah. then I shifted my eye to what was up ahead. And then as I was going down, I was already looking at what's up ahead. So I didn't focus on what was straight down below me. Yeah. I focused on what was up ahead. And it seemed to help me carry my speed and complete the run. Next up on our short list is gonna be Spirit Bear's Rock Shoot. This is one of the larger slabs of rock we have on Galbraith and a fantastic, relatively straight down shoot. This is a very oh, muddy yeah. first attempt. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Ooh. Now whether this is easiest to do on the right side or the left side, it's kind of debatable. In fact, you can hear in the background, my buddy's trying to decide what the best route was. He hit that bump right there. Yeah. Right so I would stick to, stick to the right. This way. Yeah. Here Javi rides it again on a drier day and it goes straighten much, out, much better. Out, out. There you go. Still pretty quick though. <laughs> Last time you rode Spirit Bear, didn't quite happen the way you wanted. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, so I went into it maybe a little too confident, thinking uh, I can rush this thing and no, no big deal, right? And so I went in, it was a wet day that day as you'll see on the video. And uh, yeah, I went in with a little too much speed. The biggest issue was I only use the back brake. Don't do that. On those uh, steep rock slabs, use the front brake wisely, but use it. Here's my first run on Spear Bear on that muddy day. As you can see, I'm going pretty slow, lots of control. I didn't want to do what oh, yeah, I just saw. Okay. Oh, Second time, I went a little bit quicker, but you can kind of tell I'm a little bit nervous as I go down this thing. I guess I'll have to ride it more. Next up, we have that wooden drop at the beginning of Scorpion. This might be the most ridden around feature on the mountain. The wood feature is only five feet tall, and really you're only landing probably eight or nine feet down. There's just something about it that feels rickety and a little bit janky, even though they've done a rebuild and it looks and rides fantastic. Now you can see from this next side shot, there's not much of a pop needed to get to the safe zone. There we go. In fact, as long as you don't nice. ride really slow, you're gonna be just fine. Woo. Now onto the last feature, SST Rock Roll. I know I already did a video on this, but this is the first time my friends have actually rolled this. And actually, I never dropped it in the last video. So this time, I'm gonna go ahead and fully commit and hit it with some speed. So nice to finally not case that step up as well. So there you have it. There's the four features I think are the hardest or biggest at Galbraith. A special thanks goes out to all the mountain bikers out there who keep an eye out for each other on the trail. If you're riding solo and you want someone to watch your back as you do one of these features, reach out. They'll help you out. They can give advice and sometimes they can let you know when you're about to do something stupid. Oh crap. Oh whether you're local or on the other side of the world, I hope to see you on the trail someday.